Hi there, signs of Capricorn. Yay, I'm finally to your reading. This is for September 2024. Thanks for joining me, guys. I'm so glad to have you here. And you know what? The reply to the private readings has been immensely appreciated. Those are $24. I record them for you and then send you a link. So that is how they are done. And the information in the description box will get you there. Or you can email me um, through the description box too. But anyway, thank you for showing up to this reading. Let's read these energies. Going to pull a Celtic cross for you today. A rebirth is assured coming out of that uh, cage that we call our thoughts sometimes. Messages, please. What messages do you have for Capricorn? For September 2024, let them know what kind of energies can they expect and how could they transmute them. Yep. Well, so that is the challenge, is the coming out of the mind F. <laughs> um, and, but you're being, like, you're handling obstacles and challenges and distractions rather well. With the five of wands in the reverse, you're focused. It is just the mind that could keep you in any kind of place, but we saw that in the reverse, so I think that's what it is. Yeah, um, breaking free from toxic people, situations, attachments, whatever the heart was um, maybe even attached to. Who knows? But the de devil in reverse is like letting go of that. So past energy. A pentacle reverse means you started investing in yourself. Caring more about yourself, caring more about physicalities, investing in yourself, investing in a business, deciding I'm not going to carry some crap for people for too long if I don't have to, <laughs> laying down your burdens here and your goals and your destiny. Future, you have the star energy because the stars are being aligned. So not only is there hope, but there's something that is coming to manifest uh, here in the physical for you. Yeah, how are you feeling? The seven, not the seven. That's weird. It's clearly the eight of wands. Um, how are you feeling? Like some, like good news. Maybe you're the good news. What's in the environment for Capricorns? Two of Pentacles. Choices, decisions, and harmonious change. It's the hope or fear. Your nine of cups. Getting what you want. Sometimes we could fear success. Um... But wishes fulfilled, wish fulfillment, wishes fulfillment. It's the outcome, justice, getting justice in a situation. It's probably up like this. Like you're probably coming out of a five of pentacle energy where there were a lot of worries. Um, justice is saying that things are going to get balanced for you. Yeah, we have two nines. Something about letting go of whatever this energy is from the past and a completion with it. Navigating distractions, people that could be dis distractions. Maybe causing you to lose some sort of focus. We're going to get clarification. <clears throat> on these energies. For Capricorn. Tell me about the issue here with this five of wands in the reverse. What's the issue with that? The eight of swords again. Jeez, girl. <laughs> girls okay there's two kittens that i help take care of like caretaker i sit cat sit sometimes during the day and so these cats <laughs> let me think it okay uh, being <laughs> constrained um the word cat is coming out why is kittens or cats coming out so much i don't know um but this is being trapped in the headspace your own thoughts can limit you the most. Maybe it's about the thinking and getting your thinking back to um, to where you're not looking at your limitations. Okay, that's a better way to describe it. Is, is that with this Eight of Swords showing up twice, the challenge is definitely about you focusing, not forcing anything. So not making yourself think a certain way at all. It's not about that. It's about finding the openings uh in your situation it's finding those opportunities you obviously did here in the past with yourself 
within something that you were going to invest in in yourself. But this is about looking at the opportunities, the possibilities, the growth, looking at the things that you have going for you. And um, I don't know, it's like those things multiply. And then the less we think about restrictions or limitations, the easier they are to just kind of like fall away. So it's not about forcing yourself to have positive thinking or anything like that. It's acknowledging what's coming through the mind and then letting go of it. So it's kind of letting go of obsessing over some of these other things that focus maybe on limitation or fears or fears. What's the devil in reverse about? Six of Cups and the Page of Wands. Okay, so this is good. So whenever you let go of this, this fear or attachment or toxic attachment, something like that, in the heart space you have, oh, wow. Good news, a passionate uh, new beginning is here for you. Passion, playfulness, flirtiness, fun. And it's associated with the remembrance of a connection. I mean, you, in September you might have family connections getting growing stronger and your networking growing stronger. But this specifically, especially if it's paired with the Page of Wands, has to do with something new. So there's a remembrance. And this might be a person from a past uh, life, a different life, different timeline, however you want to look at it, right? This is somebody from a, a vibration that's very high and coming into your life. And you can feel it. You can feel it. Look, it's signed on the bottom. You can feel it because you have the Eight of Wands. So, yes, you feel this energy picking up. You feel, uh, in September, good. You're feeling good. You're feeling lifted. You're feeling light as a feather. And there's something about you knowing that your intentions have been good. Your heart is pure here. Like, you, you're, you know this. <laughs> you know this. You feel it more maybe you feel it more in september kind of like this um ah uh, just really high vibe 888 very abundant 99 still releasing things from the past there is a completion here that's not a bad thing when you see the ten of ones you especially in the upright you have completed something it is successful the hardest work that you've put in in your life has paid off at that point and you get to kind of like release some burdens, release, um, maybe there's a shifting of priorities um, or something that is just really going to relieve you, okay? It's something that's going to relieve you. Tell me about the change and the choices, decisions with the Two of Pentacles. Tell me about that. The Seven of Wands in the reverse, Seven of Swords in the reverse. On the bottom so you see through lies deception sneakiness you see through it all <laughs> there's a need to develop a strategy before you move forward okay so capricorns being capricorn you're thinking you're putting strategy into your next move this is like a chess move mm -hmm. everything has to add up for you to move forward there's a strategy and there's also this like there's you must see some type of sign or get some or have the signs or synchronicities increase. It will. It will, especially with you becoming so aligned with these energies right here and your star I mean, aligned with the stars. The stars are aligned. It's as they say. Two sevens, a little bit of a spiritual challenge, but it includes a lot of spiritual growth. Whatever you went for, through, it was pretty heavy. Um, and physically, I feel like something was exhausting to complete, but you completed it. Maybe dealing with um, some aspects of ourselves with the devil energy here. Look, needing to invest in yourself again. Um, don't forget that, I guess. Don't forget that to invest in yourself. This, this might be showing up as good news, honestly. Because it is, I didn't clarify on anything in specific, but it is right next to this Eight of Wands, which makes me feel like maybe you're stepping into your full power and um, using those traits that Capricorn's really good at, which is the planning, the strategy, being grounded and practical. Um, and it's going to have, there's, there's a, oh, it's like the, I don't know if I want to say that. Um, 
it's like you you are the spirit that has a very strong sense of how to make things materialize here so material material items and what you need for pleasures of the flesh let's say like they're gonna they're gonna come easy to you especially when you put your strategy into place because it just comes easier to your sign too um Tell me a little bit more about this future energy with the star. Another ten of wands, guys. So, completion, completion. You have Capricorn, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Libra. Just in the, the major arcana. And that's all I'm going to leave it at. <laughs> you This this is a, wow, 1010 is saying divine timing and it's coming out twice because there's a little bit of magic here in this reading for you. Where Spirit is saying, we're repeating so that you really hear it. You will not have to carry all these burdens and all the weight of the whole world that you have been carrying for others for much longer. This is a person and they're making it home. Metaphorically, they're making it home because there's a completion. And yes, you may be tired and there is um, a need to definitely take that energy to rest before moving forward with the seven of ones reverse i feel like that's like a pause before you decide to take some action on some change dedicated to some change who you not only radically accepted a situation but you took on a lot more too than you had to and and, and but it's it's well done job well done okay so what about the hope or fear the nine of cups the seven of pentacle you just want to get what you put in a lot of investment in yourself here there's going to be investment in the things that you want because that's going to be quite a change because i feel like the ten of ones is saying that you have put a lot of investment in, into what others want and want you to carry and do and this is about your wishes being fulfilled about what you want to invest in in yourself and, and the, those choices and decisions that have those long-term consequences, 7-7. Seven, seven. Tell me about justice and the five of pentacle in the reverse. Tell me about justice, five of pentacle in the reverse. Three of swords, and what is this? And the ace of cups. Okay, so three is, it's, 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 um, once there was some heartache, there was some type of breakup, sadness, or loss, it is going to be replaced with something bigger, better than you ever imagined with the Ace of Cups. It's going to be something kind of new. There is heartbreak still over a loss or over, um, could be even over what other people have said. Something that just broke your heart. Something that broke your heart. I'll get, uh, I will get Kipper deck on that. Because this can represent marriage and relationships with justice being associated with Libra. You have a victory here on the bottom. The, the last <laughs> six of wands, nine of pentacle. You have a victory here for sure. It's not been easy. There is some heartbreak. I don't know how much I need to even clarify that actually. This is just, this is just how it happened and what happened and this is a turning and a evolving into something much better so let's go ahead and get this kipper deck out for you pull it see so this five of pentacle reverse and the poverty in the reverse is is literally saying that Whatever you, you invest in, whatever you have been invested in, Spirit's going to uh, make sure you get rewarded for it. You're pulling out of a, of a tough time. You will get news and you'll be feeling this news of no, this hardship is over with. You may be feeling like the privileged lady, the rich woman, like things are going to just come to you at this point. Who's a mature man? It's in the reverse. And wealthy man. Family room in the reverse. This one's almost in the reverse. Not quite. This is strange, isn't it? Hmm. Hang on.
at a crossroads. You have a loyal friend or an ally here. I would say it's the wealthy man as opposed to the mature man. Because I think he's directly in alignment with you coming out of a difficult situation. This person might have broke your heart. This guy right here is here to help and assist, giving you gifts. The bear can even represent in Lenormand getting um, not just a leg up, like the polar bear could be like lavish gifts, luxury. Um, you're about to be feeling that. Others are probably going to be a little jealous of that, I'll be honest. And then the moon in the Lenormand is about fame, being recognized, being appreciated. Oh, okay. This is a divine. This friend, represented by the white cat, they're an ally. They are divinely <laughs> guided into your life to help you beat some of these demons in your life. It's divinely, and here he is again. It's divinely. Um, this is divinely guided. Here's here's the rich gentleman again. Thirteen, thirteen. They're both essentially the same because they're both. This is a combination of the Kipper and the Lenormand. This one's just the Kipper, but I mean, for it to come out is a pretty significant thing. That this energy is uh, wanting to give, wanting to give. I don't know. They feel aligned with what you're doing too. Wanting to come together, wanting to see you socialize more, have a good time, communicate. Wanting to communicate. And then there's the crossroads again, and it hit justice. You're going to be at a crossroads where you uh, you will have the scales being balanced. You will receive your justice in the best way possible. It's been a long road. You've invested a whole lot. Probably had a lot of people take from you, but that's ending. The mice in the reverse is that nobody's going to be able to take from you. You're gonna you're extremely protected right now. Getting back everything that you lost, maybe and more. The anchor, where are you going to th toss your anchor here? It's uh, bringing in wealth, maybe even something to do with uh, travel, trade, or commerce. It is an octopus, though. So, I mean, it's a golden octopus. So, we could kind of get from that that there's going to be a lot of different directions where you're able to make income or have sources of income. Lovers, in the reverse, maybe this is, like I said, it might be attached to this Three of Swords here. And I feel like you're not make you're going to make a decision not to go forward with someone. Someone wants to get to know you very well. They will reach out. They probably, possibly haven't yet. Great fortune on the bottom. Despair here. So whatever this hardship is, just know that you pull out of it. There is some kind of message that I haven't gotten yet. Uh, regarding a person, more than likely this rich gentleman or wealthy man energy that wants to give you a message. Of course, you're not male or female. This is just somebody who really knows their stuff when it comes to how to manifest wealth. Uh, I have a mature man, mature woman. Both of them are in the reverse. So it could have been that you were dealing with a mature, an older woman or man that... That is associated with this um, Three of Swords or Broken Heart. This is something you are not expecting. It's because it's from the Divine and the Child indicating that this is a new beginning for you in this situation. Well, it's going to be a new beginning for you. Child, child, you have it twice. Satisfaction and happiness. The Lily. Okay, so let's pull from 108. For the diamond. Oh, I'm kind of like paranoid right now because I walked through a spider web. <laughs> I keep feeling, and you know, if you've seen my hair, it's kind of crazy. Look, it's crazy anyway. It's it's very frizzy and it's just its nature. Anyway, so going through a spider web, I, who knows? My hair looks like a spider's nest. I don't know. Oh, feeling everything. You know what I mean? Anyway. All right. Hmm. 
So you're going through an upgrade. Things are going to be restored more than ever, more than you really even know with the repairman. With the yacht, you you literally have something coming into your life that has to do with affluence and luxury. It will be an adventure. It will be quite an adventure. Have the sapphire, meaning that your mental force right now is really strong. You're sharp. You're intelligent. You're thinking of good strategies, right? You have power and strength, and it says divine favor, too, there. The shooting star, it's the wish granted. It's the quick action here, and it's something that's going to come on sudden for you. I also have a library. This is about something that has been hidden from you. It has to do with this person that is is or really wants, I don't know, if it, there's a strong attraction there with this person. They're showing up in your reading uh, quite a bit. So they're associated with this positive, like positive change for you. Bonfire, enthusiasm, energy, heated, intense, joy, ignite, passion, sharing ideas, getting things done, orgasm. I'm telling you, this is good. All right. Music. Music might be really important to you right now, especially like raising your vibration. Keeping, a, keeping yourself and yourselves feeling happy. Challenges to be overcome that will be overcome on the bottom perseverance you may feel like you're getting nowhere but there are wonderful changes ahead so don't give up and then opportunities an important offer will be made be prepared and dressed to impress okay and an angel number for capricorn 666 watch those thoughts watch those thoughts and multiple of 624 Seven, seven, which came out in your reading too. So it, it is time to move on from old patterns, habits, and fears. It's time to walk in the direction of your biggest desire and ambition. Now is the time to be bold and brave. I am brave. You are also a visionary here. So whatever idea or something that you can see for the future. 999, thank the past for your lessons and leave it where it belongs so you can make the best of a life that's still waiting to be fulfilled by only you. I am unique. 999. And that is what I've got for you, Capricorn. Sending you so much love. Bye-bye.